we're going to show you the installation of a 3 core outdoor heat shrinkable termination. This could be for 12 kV, 24 kV or 33 kV XLP cable. The only difference will be the number of rain sheds and some of the components will be longer. Heating up the outer cable jacket will assist in removing. And here we're going to show outdoor armour earthing also, so we're exposing the armours to a dimension according to the instruction sheet for the armour earth kit. After scoring the armour wires, bend back and remove. A binder may assist in splaying the armour wires that we'll be showing soon. Position the armour earth heat shrink cover sleeve before bending back the armour wires. Remove the backing tape from the black mastic tape apply around the inner bedding and fit the arm support ring as shown. Mark out the inner bedding and remove to the dimension shown in the main instruction sheet. Remove the fillers. Now we'll be fitting the solderless screen earth connection kit. So we lay the braid upon the copper tapes, apply the roll spring around once, fold back the braid and continue applying the spring. After you've fitted the spring, just grip it and tighten it and that will give a secure grip onto the copper tapes. Now mark out the lug barrel to the end of semiconductive screen point and mark the core. To facilitate the removal of the copper tape screen, you can apply a constant force spring and tear off to the edge. Now mark the screen end, apply some tape and because this 3 core cable has easy strip peelable semiconductive screen we're going to use the best method to remove this which is by using a round file or commonly known as a rat tail file file all around the core until you can just see the white primary insulation beneath. This will give a reliable screen end. Now using a scoring tool set to a particular depth, score longitudinally down the core to that prepared screen end. The semiconductor layer should peel away nice and cleanly as shown. There's no need to use glass at this stage. Some simple tools like a round file and a scoring tool are all that you need. If the cable does have a bonded semiconductive screen then a shaving tool can be used. Again, don't use glass. Repeat this on all cores. Remember to remove the PVC tape. Using the tissue supplied or a suitable solvent 
ensure the primary insulation is clean and all carbon traces are removed. Now stretch and apply the yellow stress relieving tape around the edge of the semiconductive screen, overlapping onto the primary insulation by approximately 10 millimeters, and then back the other way just onto the copper tape screens. Now position the stress control tube Treat the other screens in the same manner and with a suitable heat source shrink the stress tubes into position Now wrap some red mastic tape around the outer cable jacket and position the earth braids with the solder blocks sitting on top of the mastic tape. Apply some further mastic tape over the top of the solder block and this will stop the capillary action of water rising up the braids into the earth pond area. It's now time to fit the three core conductive breakout boot. So separate the cores, position the boot, and slide down as far as it will go. Heat the skirt first and then the fingers to the cores. And if you position the earth kit that you fitted previously correctly, you'll note that the springs are above the end of the fingers. Now those earth braids will be secured temporarily to the armors beneath as we're fitting an outdoor armor earth kit. And you'll probably need to trim those braids as shown. Braid the outer cable jacket and degrease. Apply a turn of black mastic tape around the jacket and then position the main external earth straps with the solder block laying directly on top of the mastic tape. Apply further black mastic over the top of the solder block. The tape will melt and flow underneath the outer heat shrink tube and give a really good seal. Now secure the earth straps to the armour wires with the Jubilee clamps shown. Reposition if necessary and continue tightening. To remove the sharp edges, apply some more black mastic over the clamp buckles and then around the whole earth bond area. Now position the shrink sleeve, overlapping onto the breakout boot. 
Now you can see the position of the stress control tubes is quite high. That's because we've taken the top down dimension. This gives many advantages including greater clearances between phases. So starting at the centre of the sleeve, heat all around and shrink to one end at a time. Sealants will be visible at the sleeve ends. Now fit the lugs, mark the cores, cut to length, and we're showing an insulation removal tool here. will very quickly remove the insulation to the depth you set. Score the inner semiconductive layer around the conductor and remove. We're now fitting mechanical connectors. These are already water blocked and are suitable for copper or aluminium conductors. You'll need a holding tool to use these to support the cores. Clean and degrease. If there are any large voids, you can fill the, the hole with the mastic tape supplied. And then wrap the red mastic sealing tape around the lug barrel and down onto the core. Now apply three pieces of red mastic tape around the, the fingers of the, the breakout boot and when the anti-track tubes are fitted we'll have a good moisture tight seal. Remember to remove the backing paper. Now position the anti-track core tubes over each core overlapping onto the fingers past the previously applied red tape. You may need to trim the tubes depending on the tail length start shrinking from the bottom all around the tubes and up the cores until fully recovered and wrinkle free. Try to keep that flame on the move to avoid scorching. And now, depending on voltage class, we're going to fit rain sheds on each of the cores. For 7.2 kV, there'll be one. For 12 kV, there'll be two. 17.5 kV, also two. Three on 24 kV, and four on 36 kV. Very often outdoor terminations are completed on the ground and then winched up into a higher position. Sometimes the rain sheds can be easily dislodged during this process and gaps can form behind the shed collar. If pollutants get in, they can cause tracking and eventual failure. So reheat the sheds if any signs of dislodgement have taken place.
Another problem area with outdoor terminations is the use of PVC tape to phase identify the cores. PVC tape will track and degrade. Moisture will get underneath, causing discharging, and eventual failure is likely. If you use PVC tape, remember to remove it once the cores are in their final destination. Now, bond the earth strap to a suitable earth point. The termination is now complete.